Alright everybody, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies and our minigames mission. Last time we're here we completed Whack Zombie. Title kinda says it all. We just had our mallet and we just whacked some zombies as they rose up out of the ground. So today we're moving on to the minigame called Last Stand, which I think you just get tons of sun, you get 5,000 sun, and you get no more, basically. Um, is what it is. So we'll get lily pads, of course, get all kinds of pea shooters, get Coffee bean, lime, it's from you. And squash cherry bomb to round it out. Let's rock. Can you survive five flags? I don't know, we're about to find out. What do I need? P, frozen P, V, P, to P, U. Oh. So much. We do need all our tall nuts in place first. Make sure we got pea shooters down. Oh, and we got some snow peas down. Repeaters down. Make sure our offense is good. Honestly, this is fine. Can I plant what's going on? I can. So I got uh, two squashes that I can use. Oh, this is going to be great, I can already tell. You can probably go the super offensive route here too. I'm place these guys for torch woods. Which would end up costing the same. I need to throw another little pea shooters here. So you can get, you could get some repeaters in here, but you can get them all for that. These are only 175. Torchwoods are 175, so a magnet shroom and coffee being together. So those would be equal. So in this row, would just have to be another pea shooter there, I guess. Or maybe you could fill out four rows. 325. It's 325 times four. Now we're doing math. We've got theoretical shit. 325 times four. 1300. 175 times six. No, it's still not enough. It's 325 is the. Uh, Triple shooter guys, three Peters. If you get four in here, then all your lanes are covered, but even that's not enough. And let's just skimp out a hundred here, a hundred here. And then even that's not enough, so I don't know. Successfully defended one flag. Uh, yeah. There's nothing really to do. Oh, so you get some more sun. So you could technically do that. You could just go super offensive instead of have a... Uh, to try and negate any metal shit that you come across and go torch woods and then eventually you sh could... Should be able to round out this with the three feeders. Should be. It honestly might make this go faster. I know, I know. Instead of having magnet shrooms and uh, frozen bees and what have you.
Now I give that strategy a go because honestly I think it could work. Well, nothing too exciting going on here. Really, I'm just surviving plagues. It'll kind of be the same thing when it gets to the survival stuff we do. Except it's kind of a progression as we start out with lots of zombies to take care of. There's a survival star stuff starts out like you know, day one, day two. We flag one, flag two pretty easy and then you no know, flag three, flag four a little harder, but you continue building the same garden, so we figure you should have uh, something good by then. Fifty two fifty sun per per completion. Yeah. So you might be. When you get close, you might miss one or two of these uh, columns, but the uh, rows with the 325, like three Peters. Two flags completed. This area will be the third flag. But the magnet zombies just. So, so good, these magnet streams, not magnet zombies, excuse me. Like, freaking yoinking the metal, making these zombies weak as hell. You know, make them basically the same strength as these guys. Super powerful, super, super required. Mm. He should not be taking some damage. Oh yeah, you can spawn there. Oh, release a cherry bomb on my own. He's kind of taking a beating. Prepare him, I guess. God damn. Some of the zombies munching on him. What are you guys doing? Sleeping on the job? Give you a new shell, make you look tougher. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired. I feel like better than just the night previous. Oh well. See, yeah, I didn't know we could have future expansions out. Not that I need to get a whole bunch of sun to future expand, but we could have got another little pea shooters if I wanted to. Oh, excuse me. This guy's munching on this tone. I don't want to save it, or I don't want to use it right now. I'm going to save it because it'll probably be coming in handy when the final wave shows up. Don't you think? Be hurting. I wonder if I'm going to survive.
Frick, we got two torments that need repair. Peter, so this should be the last flag, right? Save the squash in case we're in dire need of the uh, saving somewhere. Hopefully, it'll be enough if it comes down to it. Try this other strap. Strap Magi. Okay, guys, so far so good. I mean, I haven't had any problems. Survived up to four flags again, so I should be the last one. I just want to, uh, attention to the level of detail these guys have in this game like look at look at these pea shooters the three peters right so these guys can shoot in all three lanes so each pea like you know their mouth moves when they shoot because it can go in these three lanes it's these two guys on the ends see this look at this these guys shooting these two guys mouth move top guy his mouth doesn't move because he can't shoot same with this, top two guys mouth to move, bottom guys mouth doesn't move because he can't shoot. I just thought that was kind of cool. Something I didn't pay attention to before. But it's just like, that's some good detail right there. You know, I tell you what. I tell you what, that is some good detail right there. Just kind of a, uh, something I noticed. Something I wanted to point out. Because I thought it was kind of neat that they put that much uh, care into the project. Oh shit. Kill that son of a bitch. Kill that ladder son of a bitch. They got him. They destroyed his ladder before he could use it. Thank goodness. Problem. So. Torchwoods was the way to go. Extra damage output was the way to go. None of this magnet shroom. I mean, they're good, they have their place, but none of this magnet shroom defense bullshit. Last stand, you need uh, damage output is what you need. As much damage as possible. So, uh, yeah, Torchwoods and a bunch of pea shooters worked out. Pea shooters, uh, repeaters, three peaters, all contributed well there. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for today. So, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, comment, do any and all of those things if you enjoyed. And as we say up here in Canada, peace out. <laughs>